Hey guys, I'm Leo Wright from the Guitar Maniac, and welcome to the first episode of Gear Review. I remember when I was young and broke, always trying to save money everywhere I could to upgrade my pedal board. The one thing that did piss me off back then was the price of delays. Well, recently I came across Nukes Time Force, the device that was sent uh, to me from China to Germany for less than 50 euro, including shipping costs. So let's take a look at it. Well, first of all, this is digital delay. Well, I'm not the kind of person who would end up with discussion what's better, analog or digital. In fact, I love digital equipment. But there is one problem. Let's take such a simple task as adjusting the volume. In analog world, you do this in one step by turning the volume knob. In digital world, you might end up with two or three steps. Print up the menu, adjust the volume, and in some cases you need to save the settings. Some of the software engineers forget sometimes that command bar isn't user-friendly interface for an average person. But before I jump to the conclusions, I just want to test this device. Nukes has another type of delay, the time core. It looks less sophisticated than this one and is actually cheaper. But for me it was critical to have a tap tempo button, so I decided to go with this one. Timecore has this button as well, but it's combined with on-off button and this might get confusing in live gig. The first question is, how does it sound? Well, this device has 11 types of delay and here are the samples of all of them. Some of the delay types can only be used in a stereo mode, and my guitar amp is mono, so I had to record the raw signal and process it afterwards.
Nuke's time force is slightly bigger than an average storm box, and technically speaking, it has much more to offer than some of expensive delays. First of all, it can work with stereo signal. Second, just look at its color LCD display. I haven't seen anything like this at any other delay. There are no sophisticated interfaces, so operating is very easy and self-explaining. There are four knobs for time, repeat, tweak and mix. By pressing the type button you can choose the type of delay you want. Subdivision does what it stays for, the subdivision of the notes. And this is actually the first time I see this function on the Stormbox delay. Tail function allows you to apply the effect to a last played music phrase before you switched off delay. First I was afraid of save button. Usually it goes with bring up a menu, select function, adjust your settings interface, which requires a lot of time. But all you need it for is saving your favorite presets, if you want. This device is really user-friendly, but you still should read the user's manual, because there are a couple of hidden functions that you might not figure out on your own. For example, if you press and hold tab button for more than a couple of seconds, you turn your delay into a 40 second loop pedal. This is something that I'll probably never use, but it's a nice touch. The good thing is, if you turn off the power and turn it back on, you'll get the exact the same settings you were using before turning off the power. It works with standard 9V battery or 9V power supply. You might ask as well, does this device have a true bypass or not? Well, the user's manual says it has both. True bypass allows you to connect input and output when the device is in off mode. So it doesn't have any effect on signal flow. Otherwise, the signal will be bypassed through electrical circuit of your device. But this shouldn't be a bad thing. For example, you have a long cable which has DC resistance and electrical capacity. This cable will influence your signal flow. If you don't want this, so true bypass might not be the best option for you. The devices without true bypass, however, have a buffer which can compensate this signal. And Nuke's Time Force allows uh, you to choose between those two options. Technically speaking, Nuke's Time Force doesn't have true bypass. If you switch off the power, the signal will not go through. It only emulates the sound of true or buffered bypass. The question is, does true bypass have huge influence on the sound? Here is a little test. I'll take a music piece written by Vivaldi and performed by good friends of mine, Project Timeless Music, or Zeitlose Musik as they call themselves in German. First, I run it through normal cables, and then I run it through Nuke's Time Force in off bypass mode. And you'll be the judge of it. But I like the blind test, so I reveal the results in the end of the video. My personal opinion, I like this device. And this one goes definitely in my pedal board. So, that's all for today. Have a nice day. Coming up next on Gear Review, Nukes Modcore.